There it is. Our own Irish cottage. Sure, and what a fine place to be spending the weekend. Just the four of us, the old Beatles. Oh, brother! This Irish air peps me up. I feel stronger already. Good. Then you can carry the luggage. Well, George and I are going to sleep early. We want to get up with the chickens. You will. This room is for you. I say it's for the birds. <laughs> yeah. What are you doing? If you leave a jug outside the door, a leprechaun will fill it with gold, they say. <laughs> That's ridiculous. You're supposed to leave it on the mantel. Like that. A leprechaun. Do you believe in leprechauns? Y yes. Y yes. Pardon me, but are you a girl leprechaun? Yes, and there's only a few of us left. Hey, how very special. But, sir, you beetles are very special. Tell me, do you love leprechauns? Oh, oh yes. yes. And if you promise not to tell, I'll lead you to the land of leprechauns and a secret pot of gold. The pot of gold's in there. And now, the pot of gold. The, the gold. gold. These are the leprechaun balls, and I am their manager, Wilhelmina Morris. And if you will help them to get started, I'll cut you in for a piece of the action. We've got a cool combo that really swings. First, we'll belt them with a string of one-nighters, then TV, then the Palladium. John, Paul, Ringo, George. Well, folks, here comes the part of the program that I like best, the sing-along. 
That's when all of you at home join in and sing the lyrics of the next song along with us. Now, where'd that prop man go to? You who? Oh, prop man! At your service. You're the prop man? Yeah, the regular one's on vacation. I'm filling in for him. Oh. Now, this next sing-along tune has a lot of punch in it. So I would like you to decorate the stage with something that really fits the mood. Lucky for you, I've got just the thing. What in blazes is that? It's the punch you said you wanted. Here, you're on, Bertha. Oh! <laughs> That's it, Bertha. Cool it. You're due back at the circus in five minutes. So mm. hop to it, girl. And a one, and a two. Ooh, that ringo. Well, now, that was pretty darn good, I must say. Of course, I expect you'll do even better on this next song that's coming up, particularly you children out there. So let me hear it this time, eh? John, I've got to know what kind of song this next sing-along's gonna be so I can set the stage proper. Well, I guess you might call it a romantic ballad. Ballad, eh? Uh, uh, oh, I've just got this the thing. This time, I want you kids out there to really sing out. All right, John, here it is. A voting booth? That's right, Ducks. You said a ballot. Oh, not ballot, you clod. Ballad. Oh, that's quite another thing altogether. Now, what on earth is that for? Ballad. Sure. I'm a ballad dancer. Oh, let's have a go at it, folks.
What's keeping Igor? Without that brain, I can't complete my experiment. Ah, at last! Well, do you have the brains? Oh, it's in the sack. But this is a human being. I wanted the brains of a beetle. Well, this is John. He is the brains of the beetles. Well, we'll just have to use his brain. Hey, what's going on here? Who are you two? I am Dr. Dora Flora Hyde. And this is my faithful assistant, Igor. You, sir, are about to take part in an amazing scientific feat in which I shall activate this mechanical monster by means of a human brain. That's real wild, Doc. Whose brain are you planning on borrowing? Why, yours, of course. <laughs> First, friend, you've got to catch the rest of the body. Ready, Igor? Ready, Igor, and willing. <laughs> <laughs> it's working, by George. No, no, by John. George is the short one. Good boy. Now go back and lie down. Back! Back, I say! Do you have a screw loose or something? I've created the first singing and dancing monster, Dr. Flora Hyde and her crooning cretin. First teenage fan club. Oh, please, girls. No, wait. Stop. Oh. My million dollar creation ruined! Cheer up, Doc. You can always build another monster, you know. Only take my advice and next time don't use the brains of a singer. Latch on to some scientific genius or something. A scientific genius? Where am I going to find one of those? Heck, the world's full of them. Why, I myself was considered something of a scientific genius in high school. When will I learn to keep my blinking mouth shut? 